Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Felipe. Uh, it's been a long time. I just figured out how to use the camera on my computer. Um, I've had this computer for over a year, but I just figured it out right now. And uh, anyway, uh, I've been in Japan for about a year and seven, eight months. And just been working like a bastard, just drawing. And I got something to show you guys. Boom! Volume 1 and 2 of People Chew is officially out in stores right now in Japan. Uh, each book is 250 pages. So I've been drawing like a bastard. That's why I haven't been online. That's why I haven't been able to blog. Um, just working here is really different. And pretty much all you have time to do is draw. Uh, but yeah, these books are finally out. Um, a lot of work there. And let's see. Let me explain real quick what's going on here. It's basically a story about um, just cultural differences and misconceptions that the Western world and the Eastern world have about each other. Um, you know, there's a lot of people that are real fans of Japan because of anime and manga and stuff like that. Um, but what I want to show in this book is part, parts of Japan that you wouldn't know about unless you lived here. So, uh, let's see. Basically, I'll just flip through the book so you can see kind of what it looks like. Um, that's the main character, Milton. He's an otaku. And he loves this anime called Peepochu, so he cosplays like that character. And Peepochu is this character right here. Uh, he's also on the cover of Volume 2. There's Milton, there's Peepochu. And in the back is Gil, who's an assassin. And um, he's hired, he's an American assassin who's hired by the Yakuza to come to Japan to take out... Uh, a Yakuza from a rival family and uh, actually it's not a rival family it's somebody within that family hires an, a foreigner to come and kill somebody from his own family who he doesn't like and that character who uh, Gil the assassin is uh, hired to kill is Morimoto Rockstar that's the name the guy gave himself and Morimoto Rockstar is a is a young Yakuza who's a real fan of American culture so he loves Hollywood movies and he likes rap videos, he watches MTV and his whole uh, idea of what the US is, is basically comes from uh, just music videos and movies and just pop culture uh, which you know for an American when he goes and watches a uh, Hollywood movie you know that's not really what you experience in everyday life uh, it's just a Hollywood movie it's entertainment but from a different culture's perspective when you see that you don't know how much of it is true or not uh, a lot of times you may assume that something is completely uh, fiction, fictitious because it's in a movie, but the truth is it's drawn from reality of another culture. So basically it's just a story that deals with, you know, cultural misconceptions and the way that people from the East, you know, specifically the U.S., how Americans see Japan, and also how the Japanese see the U.S. And uh, so there's humor, there's action. Um, this girl is Deiko. Uh, she's a Gravia model. So basically, if you if you um if you check out weekly magazines in, in Japan, basically this is Morning Two. This is the new issue that came out this month. Um, these come out every month or every week in Japan. So any convenience store when you go there, it's going to be packed with magazines like this. This one is the one I publish through monthly. It's called Morning Two. It's published by Kodansha, and this is a, this month's um, issue of People Chu, which is 34 pages. That's one of the shorter issues of People Chew that I've published. Uh, when I started out, I was doing between 40 and 60 pages a month just by myself. Um, that's the most I've ever worked. I worked really hard when I was drawing MBQ uh, back in the States. Uh, MBQ Volume 3 is also out. Uh, I didn't really have time to let anybody know, but yeah, that one's out. Volume 3. Um, I don't know. For some reason, MBQ is very hard to find, even in the U.S., uh, if you can order online, that's the easiest way to get it, probably. If you just go to Amazon, most bookstores don't carry it. It was never really uh, advertised that much in the States. So, it, you know, it was kind of tough. Check out this, this artist photo. I got, like, the gnarliest beard. I was mistaken for a homeless man many a time in Hollywood. But uh, anyway, if you were reading MBQ uh, and you're missing the last volume, please go check it out. Uh... MBQ Volume 3. I think my camera froze. I don't know. I'm going to keep going anyway. Um, and then, yes, 
if you're near any uh, Japanese comic book store, like uh, Kinokuniya or Asahiya, please go get People Chu Volume 1, People Chu Volume 2. Uh, tell them about Felipe Smith. Tell them, like, I'm working, I'm just working my rear off over here. Uh, all I do is draw, I don't get to go out. Um, you know, so I do this because I want people to read my work. So if I just do all this drawing and nobody picks my work up, uh, it's a waste of my time and my energy and my tears and blood. Uh, so yeah, so anyway, um, sorry for this crazy video that might not make a lot of sense. I'll, um, I'll try to do a post to explain a little bit more about my story and the characters and stuff. Um, just so you know what People Chew is really about. And please, any of you guys that have access to a Japanese comic book store, please pick it up. Um, if this does get published in English, translated at some point, I definitely know that this cover will not happen in the States. Um, I just, I just don't think you can have somebody flip you off on the cover of a comic book without having to have it covered, um, you know, like some kind of porn magazine with a black, you know, rapper or something. But this, in any comic book store here in Japan, is just a plain view, and it makes me very happy, because very dumb things make me happy, but, you know, I mean, it goes back to Volume 1 of MBQ and D, giving you the first page message. And, uh, you know, I'm not a negative person, but, you know, I try to get away with as many things as I can, and something simple as that, believe it or not, is still something you can't do in the States on a cover, so here in Japan... Flipping the birdie really doesn't mean much. Um, it, there's no meaning to it. In the States, this doesn't mean anything. But this means fucking in Japan. So there you go. There's a little something I taught you about Japanese culture. Something very useless. But anyway, uh, that's about seven minutes. If you're still watching this, thank you. And uh, that's me, Felipe Smith, uh, signing out from Tokyo, Japan. And everybody back at home, please don't forget me. Uh, I'm by myself here working my ass off, but uh, I miss all of you guys, and thanks for supporting me back at home when I was doing MBQ. Uh, if you don't know about MBQ, please pick it up, and please, if you have access to People Chew, you can find it online, but it has to be the Japanese Amazon. Please pick it up. Um, I'm really eager to have people see what I'm doing here. Uh, so anyway, again, thanks for the support, and uh, hopefully I'll see you back at home at some point. Uh, take it easy. Peace.